This is a Dektite Premium roof flashing for non-tarred roof applications. It's our most popular Dektite that we sell. It has a size range of 0 to 508 mil and it's for non-tiled roofs. Now the product is really versatile for doing this job. It can be laid flat or if you have a profiled roof it's easily moulded into the shape of the roof profile. It's available in black and grey in EPDM and the temperature range on the black and grey EPDM is up to 150 degrees and in our red silicon model is up to 250 degrees so you've got coverage on all types of pipes that pass through the roof. The EPDM is a super high quality polymer which stretches and is very very robust UV protected and the way to fit it we give you cut marks up the cone of the flashing and they're available in millimeters or in inches and there's a line to cut to suit the size of the pipe and you cut this with a pair of scissors or a pair of snips it's not advised to use a cutting knife on a deck tight because what will happen is you'll cause a nick and when you put that over the pipe it will form a split. The product has a built-in ability on any pitch of roof from 0 to 45 degrees. The product moves really well and therefore you only need one product whatever pitch the roof is. We'll now be showing you how to install this product with an installation video. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to fit this deck tight over this 100mm soil pipe. What you have to do is select the correct deck tight for the pipe that you've got. So I'm now just going to fit the um, deck tight. I have to cut it first for the size of the pipe that I have. This is a 110 pipe. Easiest way to find out the one you need because you need it tight. Invert it on the pipe like that, make sure it's sitting square, go around there with a felt tip pen, take it out, you can see where your felt tip pen is, the groove above that is the one you need to cut, there's an arrow there that tells you which groove to go into, if you cut the one below it'll be too loose, so select the, the size, so I'm going to cut down to that, these are tight, they're meant to be tight, if you I find it a little bit difficult to get on. Just put some water on it. Don't put liquid soap or any other washing up material onto it. Just water. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one now, snap test it. That's the sound you want. Make sure you've got it on there square. With it being on the top of the upstand, I've got to get it down into there like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix it there and in there, there and in there. Fix it all the way around so that when I've got it fixed in and it's pulled in, I can mark the edge of this, invert it, put my mastic just inside the line so that when I put it down, I know I'm gonna get my 25 mil cover on my mastic. When you're screwing this, make sure you're in the center of this metal strip. If you're on the outside, it's gonna be uneven and you have the ridges underneath this metal strip that sits into the mastic. I would go halfway down this upstand here, in the middle of the silver strip. Okay, so I've fixed the top, I've fixed that first, that second, there, there, there and there. That pulls it in tight. When you're going around there, you need to be halfway up this incline. Don't want to be down the bottom because you've got a hole in there and that could leak. These I've kept about 25 mil apart because it needs to pull in. Your fixings can actually be 25 to 50. I will go around here, 25s, all the way up through. I'm not going right on the corner there. I'm going either side of the corner. That will give it a better seal. I'll go in the middle of the fixings now, down to there. I'll go in the middle of those two again now. Okay, so it's all fixed on there. What I need to do now is just go around the outside with a felt tip pen, 
that tells me exactly where the edge of my deck tight is and I can put my mastic inside there because you need the deck tight to stick to the mastic by 25 mil minimum. You don't need to take it right off, you just need to invert it. Make sure this is clean underneath. You need to get your sealant out of your deck tight fixing kit. In that kit are the screws and the caps that go under the top and your mastic, the important mastic. So you need to go inside the felt tip pen mark, give it a good wad. Just check it, just to make sure you've got good amount of mastic all the way around, especially on the top. The top is where the rainwater is gonna play against that. Okay, so now I have to offer that down again. I don't want to lose the shape of it, and I want to be getting into the same screw holes that I had before. Best way is just do them in finger tight, then you know you're in the hole. What you want to be seeing on this now is the mastic spewing out from underneath the deck tight. That way you know it's in there. Okay, so that's all the screws back in. The screws have actually got their own washer on them as well, which is all part of the kit. That seals against the metal of the deck tight. Once you've screwed everything in, have a good look around. What, you sh what you're looking for is mastic spewing out all the way around. If you come across a section that hasn't got anything stick spewing out, undo the bolts, just lift it up, put some mastic in while it's all nice and clean and dry, and then screw down again, make sure it's all cleaning out, and then you can clean the mastic up around it. So once I know it's there, I can do these bolts up tight. That's all screwed up now. All I need to do is just pretty it up, get rid of any excess mastic. So once you've done that, just smooth it in with your finger around. Also as part of your deck tight fixing kit are the caps. They're color coded. They just push on there like that. Okay, so I've just fitted the color coded caps, which is part of the deck tight premium fixing kit along with the mastic and the screws and washers. So that's it, you're good to go.